Evaluating short-term memory. There are three elements to short-term memory. Duration, 0 to 18 seconds. Capacity, 7 plus or minus 2 items. Encoding, mainly acoustic. Duration. There is criticism of the research into the duration of short-term memory. Reitman, 1974, found that the duration may be longer than 18 seconds. He argued that in the Peterson and Peterson study, the counting of the numbers was displacing or overwriting the syllables they were meant to remember. He redid the study except used auditory tones instead of numbers so that displacement would not occur as general sounds don't interfere with verbal rehearsal. He found duration was longer, suggesting the forgetting in the Peterson study was due to displacement, not the decay of the short-term memories. Capacity Another criticism of the research into short-term memory is that the current accepted value of a 7 plus or minus 2 capacity may not be accurate. Other research suggests that the capacity may actually be even more limited. For example, one study by Cohen, 2001, concluded that short-term memory is likely limited to only four chunks of information. Furthermore, Vogel, 2001, found four items as the limit for visual stimuli. This matters because the original findings have not been replicated by subsequent studies, suggesting that short-term memory is more limited than originally thought. Encoding Short-term memory may not be exclusively acoustic. In a 1992 study by Brandemore they found participants used visual coding in short-term memory when given a visual task and prevented from doing any verbal rehearsal in the retention interval. They had to chant la 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 during the retention interval. Usually, we translate visual images into verbal codes in short-term memory, but as these participants were prevented from using verbal rehearsal, they used visual codes instead.